respected dear family members in my last lecture i was telling you about sakir naik he has recently uh, uploaded a speech in the youtube in which uh, the title appears to be a line in in which he is telling that in hindu literature there are so many mistakes it appeared to me as though he has been incarnated to this earth for correcting the hindu literature what he should have been done what he should do and what is expected from him through his conversion procedure all fraud and all treachery and all cheating and always teaching the ignorant people as though he is the perfectly knowledgeable person i am very sure that his peace uh, tv channel and his great so called messages should get directed should be directed towards the terrorist exclusively belonging to muslim community and he should bring peace in the country where muslim or islam terrorism is flourishing as a business for importing and exporting from different countries and he should remember that a message of a prophet the message of the god the message of a divine personality will be evaluated based on how their followers are living in the world not looking back to what was the life of prophet what was the messages given in the, what were the messages given in the holy book these are all old past issues present issues means how the followers of prophet muhammad living in the world where it is in india or america or iraq iran pakistan bangladesh yemen saudi arabia where 69 muslim countries where you can see every day bombs are made by the muslims and they are kept in the mosque and the bombs are exploded in the mosque and the muslims are dying and the muslim police are investigating and the muslim islamic court are verifying and islamic muslim judge is giving the verdict and muslims are the protectors or the security of the muslim jail in the islamic country and where every day killing and dying and murdering and butchering can be seen so his peaceful advice for correcting hindu dharma need not have been directed to hindu dharma it should have been directed to islamic community perhaps in india now bombs are not being blasted or bombs are not playing the previous crucial role only because a man with the capital m is ruling india now where two ms are there that is what ratan tata said all the m need not be bad this m knows how to guide this country and with the fist of steel and iron he could control the inside terrorism in india that may be the reason why now the bomb blast is not taking place among the most peaceful peaceful religion of the world prophet muhammad might have told many good things no doubt about it but how they are for his followers are doing that every day shia and sunni both belong to muslim islamic community they are killing each other they are dying each other in the name of prophet muhammad in the name of allah in the name of quran the jihad is going on and innocent 145 children were killed by the so called peaceful religious terrorist what is the ultimate aim of this killing of their own people 
they are own people one can understand if a muslim killing a hindu in the name of idol worship or so but whether it is a shia or sunni or ahmadiyya or sufi they are all followers of allah only including the old testament of bible comes to the common literature of muslims jews and christianity that the jew literature of old testament of bible from where islam got sprouted and christianity got sprouted they are killing among themselves they are butchering among themselves why such a peaceful religion in the world and a leader sakir naik has ventured and decided to correct hindu literature most interestingly or most jokingly one can see that he wants to get accreditation of the quran allah and the prophet muhammad by quoting that vedas give explanation of one god so quran is correct why quran is correct veda is telling only one god is that so sakir naik and his followers wants the certificate from indian veda hindu veda to say that quran and allah are great anybody will be taking a conduct certificate or a character certificate or a credibility certificate or an introduction certificate from a great and a renowned person not from an ordinary person if i want an introduction certificate or introducing certificate or conduct certificate and character certificate naturally i will be going and requesting a very senior well known reputable personality to give me a certificate now sakir naik is taking vedic certificate veda based certificate bhavishya purana based certificate vayu purana based certificate chandokya upanishad based certificate for proving that his religion is great so hindus can be proud of a great muslim a muslim speaker once upon a time he was a kongani from goa naik means a hindu name so sakir naik naik is a brahmin name so that former brahmin now utilizing the hindu literature for justifying his religion most interestingly or jokingly jokingly he whenever he is delivering lecture you can see that the audience do not belong to his speaker the audience will be a group who came together in some western university for listening somebody else speech that audience photo get added to sakir naik's photo so that people will be thinking that sakir naik has got such a great number of audience coming for visiting him coming as the spectators or coming as the audience and whenever you watch that picture correctly you can see the audience picture belong to some other speech and sakir naik's speech becomes a, a lonely speech another cheating is that many people used to ask question to sakir naik and their name used to be dwivedi trivedi srivatsava or chaturvedi and so on literally they are muslims and for asking the question they are told to use the hindu name so that the audience will think that hindus are attending sakir naik's meeting and hindus are asking questions to sakir naik and after getting his excellent reply those hindus who asked the question get convinced within one question and they get converted into islam you can see whenever such a duplicate hindu ask the question so many muslims will be around them this fellow with a cunning smile used to ask the question in kerala and some other places you can see that muslims one dozen muslim boys or one dozen muslim youth in brahmin dress with the thread and the basmam or chandan 
they are discussing with the sakir naik they are asking for and five four or five questions to sakir naik sakir naik gives a reply for that then they stand up and just doing pranam to sakir naik at that time sakir naik asks the question to these people are you convinced about vedas are you convinced about bhavishya purana are you convinced that allah is explained or adored in hindu literature if so are you willing to convert to islam these poor fellows will say yes we are ready to convert to islam in fact they are muslims they are literally muslims but dressed as nambudris or brahmins and this type of eating in the name of allah in the name of prophet muhammad who lived a beautiful ideal model life prophet muhammad lived an ideal model adoptable adaptable life using him and using his messages these fraud sakir naik used to do cheating and converting hindus into hindu islam and many youth used to ask me the question why can't you challenge sakir naik in public my only answer is that why should i challenge somebody for certain points they are telling if i challenge next day he will put another group of points third day some other nonsense he will put and he will continue to put so many nonsenses so many cheap comments about hindu dharma and he is 100% ignorant about hindu dharma and our puranas then again just a thing if bhavishya purana or vedas explain about or allah or prophet muhammad then why should they go to arabian literature for that it is already there in bhavishya purana why can't they accept bhavishya purana and become a hindu it is already present in the vedas according to him then why should they go and read the most primitive book in the world written exclusively for the non developed arabians it is not written for hindus or india where vedas got written 4000 5000 years ago our 18 puranas and 18 upanishads got written thousands of years prior to garan so writing so if our bhavishya purana if our vayu purana if our chandokya upanishad or vedas give about allah and prophet muhammad they can very well adopt indian literature hindu literature instead of going for a western literature or a other country foreign literature they can follow the vedic gods they can follow the follow the bhavishya purana adopted gods from india and they need not make a god from arabia to india so all these cheatings are going on for which should i go and publicly challenge challenge sakir naik sakir naik may be a great quran expert a scholar that is their business one book studying that particular book explaining that particular book to the most ignorant muslims is not that difficult but for indians thousands of literatures are there our foundation literature itself comes 2000 written in sanskrit their commentary is written in sanskrit comes 10000 and their sub commentary is written in 22 indian languages comes nearly 1 lakh one person having one book declaring that that books contains everything and the followers are of those books that book will directly go to heaven that point it appears to be correct because prematurely the followers of that book will be going to heaven that is what we are seeing in syria in egypt in turkey in pakistan in afghanistan in iraq in iraq some great scholar two years back he said uh, all the muslims are not terrorists but all the terrorists are muslims whether you could understand the meaning or not why such a great religion if it is great why majority of the followers are supporting the terrorism why they are killing each other they are killing 
the followers of Prophet Muhammad, they are killing the followers of Kaaba, they are killing the followers of Quran, they are killing the followers of Allah. They are not killing others. Why they are killing each other? If it is such a peaceful country, peaceful religion, why should they kill each other? And Sakir Naik need not correct Hindu literature. Sakir Naik should correct his own people for a peaceful life, not after death, but before death. I am sure that Muslim youth will understand this. If Muslims are not teaching about this to Muslim youth, at least one Dr. Gopalakrishnan should teach Muslims about the cheating, about the fraud and about the daylight cunning cheating of Sakir Naik through his comments about Hindu Dharma should be informed to them. I am not for challenging anybody. I may be sitting in a room and I may be explaining this to you knowing pretty well that these messages will reach to the pupil at their convenient time whether they are in the office, where they are, whether they are in their home or whether they are in the club or in their association or organization at any time they can listen my speech and more than the audience of Sakir Naik Gobalakrishnan has got audience when I speak about Hindu Dharma. I don't speak much about Islam or Quran or Prophet Muhammad because it is not my subject. When I have got gold in India, why should I search? I search for other cheap metal in Saudi Arabia or in other country. When I have got portable water, why should I search salt water in other country? When I have got glorious literature here, why should I search for one, only one literature written by an ignorant person, a person who is illiterate. Our people were so noble, so great, knowledgeable, experiential people. When we have got the ocean here, why should I search for a salt water containing dilapidated well in other country? So I need not challenge Sakir Naik or anybody. In the roadside, my challenging is not at all challenging. My information giving, my bringing the truth to the people, fact to the people and essence to the people, that is my dharma which I will continue till my last breath. Whatever the Muslim youth or terrorist say, my only request to them, correct your people first. Tell your people don't make bomb. Tell your people don't kill Muslims. Tell your people don't put bomb in your mosque. Tell your people don't shed blood. And if it is a peaceful nation, whether um, a peaceful religion, P-E-A-C-E-F-U-L or P-I-E-C-E-F-U-L, I don't know. Whatever may be the thing, pronunciation remain peaceful. Two pieces are there, P-E-A-C-E, P-I-E-C-E. Second peaceful religion means anybody, anybody can understand. So, Sakir Naik need not teach anything to Hindus and he can teach his own people. Let him take award from all Muslim country rulers. If necessary, let him take award from Indian Muslims or Kerala Muslim League also. But don't try to teach Hindu Dharma to Hinduism. Don't try to correct Hindu's literature for which you are only an infant. You have not grown at all. This is a statement given with authority. Thank you. Pranam to you.